I have encountered a couple of problems. Um, one is uh, right here. This is hard to see on camera, but one side is uh, higher than the other. This side here makes a hump over there, and this is flat. Uh, this has happened because of the placing the binding, and uh, I completely forgot about it. But this was actually a problem that uh, the guitar came with in the first place, but um, it was yeah a few years ago. So by placing the binding, it just reproduced the problem again. Good news is that because I made the insert, I know these two parts can be flush. So what I have to do is to remove all of this binding, which uh, will allow me also to make this part here better, and uh, release all that pressure and sand a little bit here in the top. And when everything is uh, flush and good, I will uh, glue again the binding in place. The other problem is right here. I was about to finish this section with this piece of binding, but I realized that uh, no matter how hard I press the side to the top, it's not gonna move farther. Um, that is because the crossbar is now too long and it makes sense. Um, the top of the guitar is way more dry now, so it makes sense that uh, it is sorted in this axis. So the crossbar has to be um, cut a little bit, otherwise the binding is not going to go in place. Something similar happened on the other side, but there only a slight sanding uh, resolved the problem. Here I have to cut uh, like a millimeter or so. But this is the way it is, you take two steps forward, maybe one backward, and so on. So let's fix this, and we can continue with the binding. This reinforcement here, I glued it in place just yesterday. Now I have to remove it again. You may think that maybe I should have thought about this problem earlier, but believe me when I say that this is full of surprises. And, uh, and I think that it's just impossible to take care about everything. Some things just show up. And that's the way it is. I accept it. And now. I'm going to stop crying and keep working. Every time that sound happens, I have a little heart attack. 90% of the time it's just um, something that uh, is glued and the crack is coming from the um, glue joint. Other 10% is wood cracking. So I have said this but this whole project it would be impossible to be made without hide glue. Any other glue uh, will be way more difficult to be removed. But uh, just using a cloth with uh, a lot of water and places, placing in the glue joint for a while 
and then applying warm water and the spatula it does the job hopefully for the last time man this is a scary now is one of those moments when you think that you have better studied for be a lawyer Believe me that you don't want it to see the most horrifying part of the process. Now I think I have space enough to make the curve to go in place and um, also space enough for the crossbar not to touch the wall. You may think that the crossbar needs to touch a big glued to the size, but actually that is not the case. Um, and that saves uh, this guitar for these 120 years because if the crossbar touches the wall, the sides of the guitar then uh, as the guitar dries and shrinks the crossbar will make pressure over the sides and eventually it will crack so I know that these uh, crossbars didn't touch the sides in the first place it just barely like half a millimeter of space in there and then the structure is complete by the reinforcements in any case to remove wood from this guitar is not something that you like to do and maybe that is why it took me so long to realize that I have to do it but now it's done Well, this may look not very promising, but believe me that it is just um, the way it's going all the way up to the top is good news. Everything else can be easily moved into place with, you guessed it, heat and humidity. After the first attempt to glue this uh, part in place, you can see it's far from perfect. There is a step in here all the way and there is a gap in here. And everything is not flush. So now the glue is dry and it's making everything stable. But now is when I can have uh, advantage over the properties of high glue because this can be easily reactivated and I can shape everything into place uh, just in tiny steps I just need to figure out how to apply different pressures uh, on the sides and up and down Second iteration, the binding looks more flash, but there is still a long way to go. Next iteration, we are almost getting there. Um, I have to remember that every time that I soften the glue and make adjustments, I have to let the glue to dry again and I can work anywhere else in the guitar. Looks like I'm getting there. 
this side is mostly done just need to close the gap in here all this line is done as well and if I can get this line perfectly glued then I can come back and fulfill this slowly but steady and this is it not perfect but almost and this is as good as I can go now eventually when all the biting is in place I'm going to make another pass but for now I think this is good enough let's continue anywhere else now it's time to fix this hump we have here there you can see the gap That is because this binding here is making the pressure in that direction. And it's something that doesn't happen here. It's just the way the wood uh, has dried over the years. This is something that was dirty in the first place that I forgot. And by the time I place the binding again, it reproduced. So it's kind of uh, making the fix that this guitar came into the workshop for. I really hate to do this because it was a nightmare to place the binding but yeah it's, I have to let's see the bright side shall we this uh, this is going to be a test of my height glue Let's see if I can start pulling this up. No, it's not going to be easy. Okay, this is going to be a little bit long, so I will continue off camera. See you on the other side. Halfway there. But you can see the energy was released and that this part here can be flush again. So I'm going to continue making my way. The binding is off again. Now what I'm going to do is to place the insert again, make everything here flush, and then I'm going to make enough space here for the binding to be in the gap without making a lot of pressure to the top. So the insert is in place now and everything looks way more flattened than before. Now we have a good uh, curve shape in here just a little bit of retouching in here in the in the insert now I want to glue the curving again to have this part of the top uh, as flat as possible and then I'm going to place the binding again Thank you. 
right, so the binding is in place again and the insert as well is nice and flush. There are a lot of aesthetics to be done, but uh, the structure now is correct and the soft curve that is in here matches perfectly the other side. So let's go elsewhere. This is the right shoulder, this is the insert that uh, I just remade. Feeling like I'm going somewhere because I'm regluing the parts of the curving that I removed to place the binding. And this job is looking nice and simple, but I'm not going to say it too loud. I have to say this feels incredibly rewarding. If you remember from previous videos, this part of the top of the guitar is constantly bending to the wrong side. So this is helping to, uh, to everything to stay in place and hopefully when I uh, start placing the curving in here, uh, the top will stop uh, deforming. That's my hope. So now that everything is uh, drying and setting, I think it's a good time to place this reinforcement again, hopefully for the last time. And for once, this is going to be an easy job. Before applying any glue, I like to make a dry test first. But for experience, I know that more or less this is how this should go. This is a small clamp here. You see, it's always important to check because this clamp is not doing its job properly. I'm going to continue with this medium side clamp.
even if I have done this before, it's important to make this dry test first because you never know. And actually, as you can see, I had to flip this clamp. Now that I'm confident that I can apply glue and everything is going to be okay. Back to the binding again. The reinforcement is in place and the glue has dried. So I think it's a good time to go back here and take a look at the binding. I already can see there is a little gap in here. Alright, this looks promising. I mean, there is a little hump in here. Not a little gap in here, um, but all in all, I have made a step forward. I mean, I guess this one I can unglue this part again and try to fix this this hump again. I can uh, use a little bit of heat to level this. Alright, so I think it's a good moment to talk about um, where we are at the moment and talk about a problem that has occurred uh, these days. So as you can see, from here to here is the guitar is almost done. All the curving is in place, the crossbars, everything is nice and clean. In this side the binding is glued more or less over here and over here and I even started to glue this part of the binding from the bottom of the guitar but uh, now there is a new problem so if I turn around the guitar you can see all the binding in place uh, the sides are uh, in the correct form again um, and there is some aesthetic pass that I have to make to the binding as well but uh, even if there is some holes it's nothing that troubles me at all what does troubles me is that from here to the bottom of the guitar maybe it's hard to see on camera but here there are a lot of waves and um, that means something is happening the right side of the top of the guitar was always trying to bend in the wrong way, let's say higher up, but the left side of the guitar, of the top of the guitar, was in pretty good condition. Uh, and when we made the insert with Ilan, all the cracks and the top of the guitar was stable and it was good. So the problem has happened while gluing the binding in place. My first thought was that this side was again tempting to go upward even if it's glued most of the way to the bottom. But looking closer the waves result to end or collide right in the insert. That's weird. I mean in these cases the top of the guitar has dried you place the insert and uh, this should not be happening but all the guitar was peeled off so now I think that probably is the insert that causes the problem and maybe this is not needed anymore because of the guitar was peeled off and then reclude all the bindings even in, if I don't active look for um, reshape everything all the top of the guitar is shrink, it's a smaller and um, maybe now the binding is taking that shape so I talked about this with Ilan and he told me it's all completely normal you just need to continue gluing the binding and then remove the bridge and everything is going to be okay but so I did so I started gluing everything but uh, as soon as I released the, the, the force 
the binding keeps on gluing because all the energy that is in here is just too much. So I'm afraid that I have to remove the insert and that's a pity because this, this insert here, this is perfection. But I have to resolve this problem because the guitar is going to crack elsewhere if I don't take a look at this right now. Uh, this is also something that I'm going to do off camera because this is so delicate that even thinking that I am recording is going to distract myself from the job. So again, see you on the other side.